I'm here at Hangar 3 at St. John's International Airport where we're about to take to the skies with DFO scientists as they prepare for their marine mammal survey. And joining me now is whale expert Jack Lawson. So first of all, can you describe what's going to be happening today? So our plan today is we're going to take this aircraft and we're going to go down to Placentia Bay and we have some transects or lines that we're going to be flying. We're looking for primarily right whales at this stage in the survey, but also looking for some seals. So how can you search for whales from the sky? Isn't that, isn't that difficult? It's normally difficult on most aircraft, but this is a special aircraft. If you can kind of see on the sides, there's a couple of stations that have these large bubble windows, and they allow the observers to put their heads right out and look straight down from the side. And in addition, we also have two very expensive large cameras in the rear of the aircraft that are taking constant photographs as we fly up the water below. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're interested in knowing where these animals are because that tells us a little bit about where they might be at risk. So if you find right whales in a shipping lane area or if you find right whales in an area where there's fixed fishing gear, we want to know that. And so a lot of effort has been paid, as you know, in the Gulf of St. Lawrence where their animals have been struck by vessels or caught in gear. But the question is always, well, are they in other areas? Should we be concerned about the Scotian Shelf or around Newfoundland and Labrador? So historically, we know that right whales have been seen around Newfoundland. We've got them on my acoustic recorders every year in Placentia Bay. They've been seen in Whitless Bay a few years ago, so they're around Newfoundland. So the point for this aircraft here is for us to look around from southern Labrador all around the coast of Newfoundland and the south coast. So this would allow us to find out if there are animals around, so that heightens our awareness of the animals, and then we'd be flying more regular patrols, keeping an eye on these animals. And if there was a group of right whales, say 10 right whales showed up in, in Placentia Bay, we would notify, for instance, the ferry that passes through there and say, you know, there's right whales here, keep a closer lookout, and it might even come to the point where if they stayed there for a few weeks, you might want to slow vessels down. So far, we've had excellent sighting conditions today. Its uh, sea is very flat, so it makes for great sighting. So we've seen really interesting animals like leatherback sea turtles, which usually you wouldn't see unless the sea was very flat because the only thing that usually pokes up out of the water is just the tip of their head or the back of their shell. So we've been lucky to see those. But on the other end of the scale, we've also seen a couple of fin whales, which are the second largest animals in the world after blue whales. And we've had a scattering of white beaked dolphins and a couple of unknown dolphin species. Can you talk about the status of the right whale right now? How threatened are they? The numbers declined drastically as a result of whaling. So when whaling stopped, there was always kind of a low population abundance. And even as of today, after years of not whaling, the numbers are still just a little over 400. It was 415 before the start of the summer. Mm -hmm. And so we know eight have died. So you can imagine they're probably getting around only 400 animals left. Mm -hmm. More concerning, out of the 400 animals, less than 100 probably are breeding females. So that's all you have left for the species in the world is 100 breeding females. So we've lost at least two females this summer. So it, it's fantastically difficult to find these animals and we're very concerned about them. So all finished now, how did it go? Well, there was uh, 30 sightings of multiple, sometimes just one, like one fin whale and sometimes up to seven white beak dolphins. Probably 60, 70 animals today. So hopefully around here, I'm hoping we don't see right whales around Newfoundland Labrador. They're amazing, but I'd like to see them not here. <laughs> and why is that? Well, I just worry, you know, with the risk of ship strikes and, and vessel collisions and so on, I, I'd rather have them stay somewhere else and not have to worry about them. So it's actually kind of a good thing that we didn't see any right whales today. Yeah, I mean, you, you'd love to see it because it's a rare species. And we have, as I said before, uh, we have seen, heard them on our acoustic recorders in Placentia Bay. But in some ways, I'd rather not see them in our waters. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for taking us You're up. Welcome. It was a real treat. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>